644 this morning, and right now, fast food workers in Kansas City are joining thousands nationwide in the fight for $15 an hour. Yeah, they're up early protesting, but this won't be the end of it. They say students are expected to walk out of class later today. So let's check in with 41 Action News reporter Sarah Blake. What's happening right now? You're walking next to him, right, Sarah? Yeah, uh, the protesters are behind me. You can see they're uh, demanding $15 an hour. This is part of a nationwide protest, moving this actually to the sidewalk so they don't get charged with any trespassing or anything like that. I'm going to grab somebody so we can really talk to them and find out what they're doing. Excuse me, ma'am. Why are you out here this morning? I'm out here because 64 million Americans make less than $15 an hour, and I'm one of those Americans. What kind of struggles are you going through? I make $9 an hour. I work at Wendy's. I've been working for Wendy's for nine years. And four months ago, me and my children were homeless, out on the street, didn't know where to go. And I was going to work every day, unable to pay my bills. And even though now we have a place to stay, I still struggle to pay my bills every day. And, you know, the naysayers, people are going to ask you, why do you deserve $15 an hour? Anybody that works in America deserves $15 an hour a living wage. Any, uh, we work for billion dollar companies that make $56 billion in profits a year, and they're, they don't have enough money to pay their workers a living wage to make sure that we're able to strive and survive out here. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for talking you. to Thank us. Have a good morning. All right, so you can see just this big group of folks uh, out with their signs, stand up KC, uh, chanting, we work, we sweat, we want $15 on our check. And so, uh, like I said, this is a nationwide protest for 15 an hour plus union benefits. Minimum wage in Missouri is 765, going up just a nickel in January. Kansas is 725, so other states are set for gradual minimum wages, uh, minimum wage increases, and protesters hope it happens here. So uh, you heard a lot of these folks have a similar story saying that they're just not able to make ends meet on the salaries that they get, child care workers, fast food workers, uh, things like that. So at 11 o'clock this morning, UMKC students are having a walkout. The protests continue there, and they also uh, continue tonight at 6 o'clock, 63rd and Paseo. So we'll have all that coverage, KSHB.com. In Midtown, I'm Sarah Play, 41 Action News. All right, Sarah, thank you. So we asked our Twitter followers what they think the minimum wage should be. So far, the majority say $10 an hour. Do you agree? Do you disagree? You can cast your vote on our 41 Action News Twitter page to let us know.